Hi again, everybody. Continuing, this is actually Toyotas, and they're tough. A lighting system. The other one that we did was Honda, and the other one uh, was 2004 Honda Civic. The other one that we did. And Hondas and Toyotas, Japanese cars are tough, the electronics. They're really sometimes nasty, how they do the, the electronics of it. But they're the best cars in the world. So anyway, now... As I spoke before, regardless of the make and model, and I'll prove it to you right now, the circuit usually is the same. So as we said, the reverse lights, also known as the backup lights, you need two lights, obviously, right? In the rear, telling the guy before you, hey, this guy in front of me is going in reverse, so back up. You need a fuse, and in this case, either a switch or a relay. So in this instance over here, like we said, this fuse is responsible for the reverse lights. Now, as we said, the basics of relay is current flows through this coil, energizing it, closing this contact. From 3 to 5 then will be closed. These are the pin numbers. 3 and 5 will be closed when this is energized. Pin 1, pin 3 of this relay, backup light relay. This is energized, coil flows, a magnetic field is uh, uh, um, formed, closing this. The armature is pulled down, and the contacts from 3 to 5 are closed. What does that do for us? That allows current to flow in this path through all of these, splits up, goes here and here. Fine. In order for this to happen, this has to be energized. Now the problem is, where's the B plus for this? We know we need a ground. We have. Where's the B plus? So if you look over here, it says from park neutral position switch. We also need this. If you know, if you if you if you remember, if we're going in backup, we're not in park or neutral. We're going to be in reverse. So it makes sure that the switch is not in park or neutral. So this has to do with the computer. The computer checks for these things when it is when it is in reverse or not in park or neutral, right? Uh, then it tells it, okay, let's give it a signal for this one, a B plus, and then current will flow here, allowing these two lights to flow. So therefore, it checks to make sure you are in reverse. Because that's the only time that you need it is in reverse. If you're in park, you're in neutral, you're in one or two, you don't need it. Only when it's in reverse. This has to do with the computer. Therefore, again, I measure 12 volts here. One side, other side should be 12 volts, no voltage loss. 12 volts here, how much should be over here? 12 volts, going through a switch, a contact. 12 volts here. 12 volts here. So if I take out the, let's say, let's say I change the light bulb. I put in a new light bulb, which is the easy way to do it, right? The easiest thing to do. Put the, put back the new one, still doesn't light. Now I'm going to say to myself, okay, but the other one is lighting. So it can't be a fuse. It can't be a relay. It can't be a switch. Well, you know what you do? You take out the connector. There's a connected switch. Four and five over here of this bulb on the connector. One goes to ground, one goes to 12 volts. Make sure you have 12 volts at the connector. Maybe the, the wire came out of the connector at pin four. Maybe the connector of pin five came out to ground. Therefore, this is what we do. Okay? Now, that's the easy part of it. We have something called combination switches. Toyota is big on. These switches are used for lighting and other accessories. So when you, see these, when you see these things, this is like a jumper wire from this terminal of F to this terminal of B1. Wherever there is a connection here, that means it is connected to this terminal. So if you see a connection here, that means it's connected to this one, connected to this one. When you see a connection here, that means it's connected to this one, not this. I'm going to connect it to TB. 
When you see a connection here, that means it's connected to this one. When you see a connection here, that means it's connected to this one, right, left, and these. Therefore, this is the hard part. Now, want to trace these, all these lights. Notice they are front, and it doesn't change, regardless of the make or model. Turn signals back, which is in the rear, or front. You need them illuminated. You need the right side illuminated. If you're going <coughs> a right signal, you need <coughs> the, excuse me, the left, rear, and front. It doesn't change, regardless of the vehicle. How they come about doing it, that's a different story. Hazard lights, you put the hazard lights on. What do you need? You need two in the front to go on, two in the rear to go on. And in addition to that, you need in your instrument panel or combination meter or whatever they have in Toyota, you have to have some indication that when you press the switch, you activated the lights for a turn signal or hazard switch, as we went through in the video. That is illuminated in your dashboard and your instrument cluster telling you, <clears throat> the, the light is illuminated telling you, I just pressed the turn signal or the hazard lights. The bulbs come on in your instrument panel, in the dashboard. Therefore, with all those criteria, taking those into, into, into consideration, we have to understand what we have to do. Over here, current flows here. We already took worked on this part of the circuit. This is for reverse. Now we have to do with hazard lights. Hazard lights either on or off. When you push the when you push the button, you're pressing both of them on. Right, left, and left at the same time. Front and rear. Current will flow through this one. The terminal B1 will go here. We'll go here to the flasher. The flasher is the click click sound. Now, as you see over here, where to start in the diagram? Well, I started over here. Why? Because I had to backtrack to see what was feeding these signals. This is in the instrument panel or combination meter that they use for Toyota. See this square around it? Both of these. These are, these are individuals. See these individual ones. This tells the driver, hey, I just pressed the, the uh, hazard lights. So therefore, taking that into consideration, I worked my way back up this way instead of going from the fuse. Therefore, hazard lights, as we said, what do we need? We come over here. We come over here from the off position to the on position. Trigger this, the flasher. Now we come back over here, TB, we come over here, this is left, we come here, we follow it, left over here is on, this is the indicator lights, right, we come back over here, following the same path, the same path, left, Front turn signal, light left is on. Front and rear. So rear, front, and the indicator in the dashboard or the combination meter that they have. What about the right? Well, guess what? There's another connection. We did the left side. Now we have to do the right. Come back to the right. Guess what? The right is also on. In your, <clears throat> again, in the instrument panel, dashboard, top of it right right front right rear right so therefore for the hazard lights we said a couple of things have to take place both have to be illuminated in your instrument panel to tell you which we have from the switch front has to be illuminated the left the left, <clears throat> the left, the right, and the rear, the left, the right. All of these have been taking place since this. So you go here, 
You have to. <clears throat> it's tricky, but you have to come out here, B1 terminal, come out to F. It's an on position. On position turns on this, the clicking. Then you go here to TB terminal, come out here, and you come out here. Now, that takes care of the hazard. What about the, the, the turn signals for Toyota? Turn signals is over here, as you can see. Right, and this is for the left. For the right, we will follow this one. For the left, we will follow this one. Now, here we go again. So, when you have left or right, remember one thing. Hazard means both lights are on at the same time. Left turn signal means I either have the left turn signal on or I have the right turn signal on for both front and rear. So therefore, hazard lights is not in this equation right now. We go over here, we go over here, right, left, tail light. We come over here, left turn signal, this is the left for the rear. Come back over here. This is the left for the front. Right? And the indicator on the instrument panel is on also. That takes care of the left. This is the left. Left, left, left. Right, when I want to turn signal right. Right, turn signal in the rear, in the front, turn signal, and the indicator in my dashboard. That's how these switches work. Complicated. Toyota is a tough, tough, tough challenge. So is Honda. But like I said, the most popular cars in the world. So, again, troubleshooting-wise, we did this already, but troubleshooting-wise, this one, I put on the hazard lights. I don't hear the clicking that's what I always look for when I want to have problems. Click, 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 right? The flasher. I don't hear it. Okay, I'll say maybe the flash is not good. Okay. Now, I'll hit the switch on the top for, for hazard lights to go on on the steering wheel. When I hit it, again, I don't hear the clicking, and the lights don't go on. That tells me there's a problem. There's a problem over here. Probably due to the switch now when the switch is bad maybe it's in the off position when the switch is bad i won't get the clicking and when the switch is bad i won't get the left and i won't get the right let's say i hear the clicking right that means at least it knows it's on i hear the clicking but i don't see the two lights right could be something over here that i'm not connected to this or this, probably this. This is the common one going here and going here. I would go to TB. Now, if I am connected, let's say I have a problem, the hazard lights come on. So at least I know that this is working, right? This part of the switch is working. Could be a broken wire from here to here, from here, here. However, I know that this is working. The signal light, I put on the left signal light, guess what? I don't see the left signal light going on. I ask myself, in the front or in the rear? Sometimes you have that indicator that it clicks very quickly. So you know one light is out. You hear that click, 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 click. Then you know one out is, one light is out, usually in the rear. Right? Why does it click? At least because the flash is working. The light is not illumining, but the flasher is doing its job by clicking. Therefore, we go, if we have a problem, let's say I turn on the signals, I don't get the left, I don't get the right. That tells me that this is not working. This line over here is not working because both of these are not working. This has to work. And if you go up here right, this has to work. This has to work for left that we just said. This has to work up here. If you go up here for right, this has to go for right. 
So in other words, again, left you come out here and you follow all the lines. For right, go over here, here, and here. You come out over here. So therefore, if the right doesn't turn, I'll say maybe there's something wrong with this or the, the jumper in between the switch. If the left doesn't work, but the right works, that tells me the right jumper is good, but there's a problem here, in between here, because this goes to right and this goes to left. This is common. If both of these don't work, I'm concerned about this line. If one of these work, if the left works, right, that means this works, but this is not working. Complicated, but that's how you troubleshoot it. Anyway, uh, please go to my uh, 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 automotive, Electronic Schematics by Joseph, and go to the other one, Joe, Electronic Schematics from Auto. As you can see, it takes a long time for me to, to analyze and to color everything and to uh, put notes and all these things for these type of diagrams. This is an educational channel, as they say. So it's not like other videos and channels. We just You make animal videos, it's easy. But this, is, this takes time and consideration to make sure everything is correct. So I appreciate all the comments, whether they're negative or positive. Like I said, I appreciate all the comments. And please go to Joe Electronic Schematics where you'll find many schematics and also for... Many students, I guess, for electronics. Thanks for watching.